The United States is the birthplace of the semiconductor industry and has mastered a large number of core technologies in the chip field. With this, the United States can influence many non-American semiconductor giants. Industry giants such as Samsung, TSMC, and ASML are difficult to get rid of the influence of the United States because of their dependence on American technology. It is precisely because of this that the United States can unite its allies to pursue and intercept China's chip industry. It wants to completely lock China's chip manufacturing in the 14 nanometers process by excluding Chinese chips from the world's industrial chain. But it's obvious that the United States has forgotten one thing. China is the world's largest chip consumer market. More than 90% of chips enter the Chinese market directly or indirectly every year. China spends more than hundreds of billions of dollars on chip imports every year. Although TSMC founder Zhang Zhongmo once said arrogantly, Huawei's orders are not important to TSMC, and American customers can easily fill the vacancies. But there is no doubt that no chip giant can easily give up the Chinese market. It can be seen from this that the U.S. chip ban restricting chip shipments is not only affecting the normal development of China's chip industry, but also harming U.S. chip companies and those semiconductors that cooperate with the United States in blocking the shipment of advanced chips, technologies, and equipment. Corporate Interests In this regard, U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo also directly stated that the U.S. chip ban will harm the interests of U.S. chip companies. When the global chip market demand is higher than production capacity, the major chip giants will naturally not violate the U.S. chip ban. However, now that global chip demand has decreased, it is not difficult to see from the financial report data released by the major chip giants that after losing the Chinese market, almost all chip giants have experienced plummeting revenue and net profits. In such a market environment, the importance of the Chinese market has become increasingly apparent. The U.S. chip ban has become a fence restricting the normal development of semiconductor companies. Chip giants will naturally begin to resist. It is reported that U.S. chip giants Intel, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm have united to demand that the United States lift the chip ban. TSMC has also suddenly changed its attitude recently, while ASML has chosen to continue shipping lithography machines. In this regard, some foreign media said, the chip incident has become a big issue. TSMC suddenly changed its face. Previously, TSMC chose to build factories in the United States despite higher costs in order to obtain more orders from American companies. Lou Dayen also said that building factories in the United States is more in line with TSMC's interests. But starting in 2023, TSMC suddenly began to change its face. TSMC rejected Machine's subsidy plan, suspended its application for subsidies, and delayed the mass production of 4 nanometers chips at the U.S. 4 nanometers factory. Since then, TSMC has begun to accelerate the shipment of chips to the Chinese market, including advanced chip processes such as 7 nanometers, and has launched a Nanjing factory expansion plan. Later, TSMC deployed all its 2 nanometers factories in Taiwan, expressing its intention to stay in Taiwan. It is not difficult to see from this that TSMC no longer intends to put advanced chip manufacturing technology in the United States. Coupled with the delay in mass production of 4 nanometers chips, the United States' dream of using TSMC to revive the domestic advanced chip industry chain can basically be said to be shattered. ASML continues to ship lithography machines.
What people did not expect was that in addition to the rebellion of the giant machine and the sudden change of face of TSMC, ASML also expressed its dissatisfaction with the ban of machine. Previously, in order to block Chinese chip manufacturers from obtaining advanced chip equipment, the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands signed a tripartite agreement to restrict the shipment of photolithography machines. At that time, ASML expressed opposition many times. However, the Netherlands announced that it would restrict the shipment of 2000i and subsequent models of DUV lithography machines starting from September 1st. ASML also stated that it would comply with Dutch export controls. At that time, many people thought that under pressure from the United States, ASML finally chose to obey and would give up part of the Chinese market and restrict the shipment of immersion DUV lithography machines. But what Biden didn't expect was that ASML's so-called compliance with Dutch export controls did not intend to violate export controls, but intended to directly open a hole in export controls. It is reported that ASML has obtained an export license, which means that ASML can ship immersion DUV lithography machines without restrictions in the next period of time. This is obviously different from the initial plan of the United States. After all, the United States intends to regress China's chip industry back to the 45 nanometers process through a tripartite agreement. However, not only has Chinese semiconductor equipment manufacturer Shanghai Microelectronics completed its own research on 28 nanometers lithography machines, but ASML will continue to ship advanced DUV lithography machines. This is equivalent to the complete failure of the export control of the tripartite agreement, which makes the United States feel very uncomfortable. There is no doubt that while the United States continues to expand its chip ban, many semiconductor companies have also begun to be very dissatisfied with the U.S. chip ban. Now Biden is not only facing the rapid rise of China's chip industry, but also facing the rebellion of semiconductor companies. Can he continue? There may be a question mark regarding restrictions on chip shipments. For TSMC, it faces huge challenges and pressure. At present, the global chip market industry is in a very competitive stage, and the traditional model of OEM manufacturing is no longer enough to enable TSMC to maintain a competitive advantage. To survive and continue to develop in the fierce market competition, TSMC must actively promote innovation and technological breakthroughs and find new development directions. At the same time, TSMC also needs to strengthen cooperation with domestic chip manufacturers to find more opportunities in the domestic market. Only by constantly adapting to market changes and adjusting its strategy in a timely manner can TSMC maintain its leading position in the global chip manufacturing industry.